Hello everybody, my name is Richard Coughlin and I am the unpaid, voluntary public relations officer and internet marketing supervisor for justiceformenandboys.com. Back in February on the 14th, Valentine's Day, I uploaded a video and launched a website called justiceformenandboys.com. The purposes of this website was to increase and improve the public relations standing for Mike Buchanan's a political party in the UK known as justiceformenandboys.com, which I will now informally refer to as J4MB. I completely redesigned his website for making a website for him, and I even gave him a new image and look and an entire cabinet. Since then, we have gone on, Justice for Men and Boys, to add two new members to our ranks, uh, namely a user called Missandry566 and the user Jimothy Schmidt, who has the honour of being the first ever fully human member of justiceformenandboys.com. We do plan at some point in adding more diversity to the party. You know, we really do need to get some sort of some some, some of the queers and darkies in on this. But until then, you know, we are very proud of this uh, achievement so far. The website itself has had over 12,000 hits. Incredible, seeing as how it's had no publicity yet. Presumably because Mike is just keeping it on the down low. He's waiting. He's waiting for that moment to unleash it to the public. I'll leave a link to the website below. Please do click on it and give it as much traffic as you can. And please don't forget to inform Mike using the very contact details that he himself gives out on his website of this campaign. For this video, I would like to hand you over to the president of justiceformenandboys.com and his assistant, Warcorps666. Please welcome Dr. Michael Filbert Mason Buchanan, GHB. Hey there, Alpha Alam Alikum my brothers and little brothers of justice. Today I will give you the most valuable weapon you will ever have in what I like to call the crotch wars. In order for us to conquer our enemies, we must first learn their language. The ultimate goal of feminism is to destroy all that is man, leaving behind a world where jars cannot be opened, where shelves are never put up, and where plugs are never properly wired. It will be a world where the traditional nuclear family has been destroyed and all that's left is a planet of fat, sweaty, hairy slags engaging in heavy to industrial strength lesbianism. They communicate this plan using their own set of words, their own secret language, and if we want to stand a chance of surviving, then we must learn this language, and I can teach you this. Unbeknownst to them, I managed to infiltrate one of the feminazi top secret meetings that were commonly known as Anne Summers parties wherein they would examine and assess multiple versions and designs of cyborg penises, penises that they intend to replace us with. All of them were very intimidating, I assume, and very unnaturally bulbous and veiny, a bit like my neck. When nobody was looking, I snatched one of their handbags containing a copy of the Guide to Feminazi Code Words, and then I quickly ran like buggery out of the door and hid inside a wheelie bin in an alleyway out of sight. They never knew I was there, and I hadn't even shaved my beard off. Please learn and memorize all of these words. Knowing them may just save your life. Now, to introduce these words to you, I give you War Corps. Okay, War Corps, here we go. This is your chance. Start going. Right! No, no, no. Try, try that again. Can't! No, let, let, let's try again. Fuck! Okay, right, just take a deep breath, remember what I taught you, and go again. Good boy. Let us begin. The Quimmering. This is when a group of feminists communicate with each other using a misandrist form of mental telepathy that cannot be picked up by men. Vaginationalism. A political ideology based on establishing a totally non-penile state. Con menstruation camps. The final destination for at least 98% of us. Extermination camps for men, all of which are ran by a load of angry bitches who have got the painters in. Bolocaust. The genocide formerly known as the final solution. Saudi Arabia. This will be the name given to the first country that they seize control of. Gynocracy. The female-only democratic process established after the men have been exterminated. Raging Poon Army, a surge-like military invasion of a nation from all sides. 
demenstration, the disposing and incineration of male corpses after removing their skin, which will be used to make large period week granny knickers. And finally, Dinosaurus Rex. Actually, I think that's just the name of a porn film I was watching the other night. It's actually quite good. Back to you, Dr. Buchanan. Thank you, War Corpse. Now, I don't know who said it, what it means, or why it's even relevant to this conversation, but knowledge is power. And these words give us power. And power makes my willy tingle. Best wishes, and stay alpha.